Hello, welcome to the next video. Obviously I'm wearing the same thing. Uh, I'm in the same spot. It's the same day. Uh, I literally just recorded the, uh, the mods, the mod cost video. Um, but as you guys know, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I work full time. Uh, so when I have time to do videos, I try to knock out as many as I possibly can. So uh, the, con the, the, you know, I'm probably wearing the same thing in multiple videos because I do the same, you know, I do multiple videos in one day, or at least I try to, if I have anything planned. So um, this is kind of going back uh, to the last video. I explained that at the end that um, the next video was going to be on the maintenance cost of this car. Uh, and this, uh, this is going to uh, really benefit uh, people that are looking um, to see if they can afford the car. Um, buying a, this car and affording it are two very different things. Um, not that this is expensive to maintain, this is actually relatively cheap uh, compared to other you know, cars in this category, um, but <clears throat> it, it's still, it's still a, uh, a cost that you're going to have to take into consideration uh, when buying a car. You know, you really want to do your homework, you want to make sure that um, it's not going to stress you out. It's not going to uh, make, you know, pension pennies or anything like that. You don't want to be uh, car poor. <laughs> In other words, you don't want to have a cool car, but, you know, you can't do oil changes. You know, I've, I've seen people do that before. I've seen people kind of uh, go over their, their reach limit and get a car that they probably shouldn't have. Um, and then they end up selling the car and they ended up having a bad experience because, you know, they couldn't afford it. And um, they just uh, being being as stress-free as possible when buying a car uh, knowing what you're getting into is um, it make it makes your ownership that much better so uh, you know obviously I'm not going to talk about the cost of the car because uh, you know they can vary but it's it's you know up, upper 30s 40s depending on what trim and stuff and and what year and all that if it's used or new it you know it really depends um, but it's roughly 35 to 40 K uh, you know, obviously there's better deals out there, so, um, but that's, I guess, the price range that, that I'm talking about. Um, but this is going to be a very similar fashion video. I'm going to sit here with my phone and read down uh, basically all the maintenance stuff that I've done to this car in the course of basically three years. And, and this March of 2020 will be three years. Um, so this is, this is just what it cost me to maintain this car and keep it in healthy condition. All my, all the work done was done at the dealer uh it was just it's just convenient for me i'm a busy guy um you know i do enjoy doing oil changes and maintenance on the car i've done them in the past with other ones um, but to me just the time uh, that i don't have and just the ease of bringing it into a trusted dealer that knows my car well and takes care of me um, uh, and my hands don't even get dirty and I could just hang out in the waiting room and, and check out some cars and, and kind of just, uh, talk, talk with some, some friends and stuff there. Uh, it's much more, uh, it's, I enjoy it much more. <laughs> um, I'm sure at some point I'll start doing my old oil changes again, but, uh, at this point in my life, um, I don't mind going to the dealer. So hate on me all you want. If you guys use different oil or anything like that that's fine uh this is just what i do i use um oem oil and oem filters you know so that's going down on on the history of the car so when i do go to sell it people will see that it was maintained by the dealer and um to most people that's a good thing uh, and that's not the only reason why i do it um i just like i said i just timing and i just prefer to do it and i know they do a good job so um I'm just going to list, uh, go down my list on my, on my spreadsheet I talked about in my other video, which was um, I keep a very detailed spreadsheet of every single mod, every single uh, maintenance item, every single uh, thousand miles that I do. I record that all on a spreadsheet and I'll give you an, uh, an end total um, so you get an idea of what I spent maintenance wise on this car in, in three years, uh, which is roughly, I think I'm at 27,000 miles. Um, so that'll give you kind of an idea of um, how much, you know, how many miles I put on the car uh, in terms of how long, you know, my ownership in three years. All right, so obviously these are gonna be pretty repetitive because the, uh, the majority of the things, actually most of it is ju are just oil and filter changes. Um, but I'll explain, I'll just go by, like I said, I'll run down the list. Um, and you know, some of these were a little bit cheaper, some of them were expensive because I had uh, coupons or something that showed up in the mail or the dealer helped me out, just kind of uh, gave me um, a few bucks off or something like that. But again, this is just what I've spent on the car. Um, 
uh, in terms of maintenance. So first thing uh, I did was, I'll, I'll say the mileage too. I also, I do, I do oil changes every uh, 3,000, 3,500. In the beginning I was doing closer to four, um, but after I started doing more mods and I started uh, you know, tuning the car and stuff like that, uh, I bumped it down to three to 3,500, which I do suggest doing, especially if you're modded. Uh, even if you're stock, uh, don't go by, I think, I think it's like five or 6,000 miles that Subaru recommends, don't do that. Um, do it much sooner. Uh, the, the more often you can have uh, fresh oil in the car is the, be the better. Um, so take that into consideration as well. I do it. Uh, I'll name the mileage and stuff that I did it as well so you can get an idea as well. Um, so you'll be able to see that it was at like 4,000 and it starts bumping down to lo lower uh, to 3,000 miles. So um, <clears throat> first one, uh, oil change. Uh, actually the first one, two, three. Uh, yeah, the first three oil changes were free. Um, and that, well, free, because uh, the dealer that I bought the car at, they have a, a special program in the first year, I think, uh, that you get oil changes for free. So the first three were free, uh, but I did them at, uh, let's see. Okay, the first, I did one at uh, 1,077 miles. I did it after a thousand mile break-in. Not necessary, but that was just me. I, I always do that with all my cars. Uh, the next one was um, 4,923, uh, and then the following one was uh, 8,805. 8, so those first three were free. Uh, obviously, I'm not taking them into account of how much that cost because there's no dollar amount. Um, uh, in the meantime, between those, I did get an alignment because uh, I you know, got coilovers. I uh, did suspension work and all that stuff, so I did get an alignment. This was not at the dealer. This is at my uh, alignment shop that I go get my car done. Um, I bring all my cars there. They're really good. Uh, that was $142.04. And, um, and yeah, uh, so that was like the first thing that I paid in terms of maintenance. Uh, there wasn't obviously something that you had to do, uh, but again, I lowered the car and I changed the the uh, dynamics of the car and the overall height, you need to get an alignment. Um, so that I had to get done. Uh, the only thing that I ran into, only issue was um, the driver front uh, axle replacement. I had to get driver front uh, axle replaced because the boot was torn. Uh, so it was spewing some grease around on the wheel, on the inside the wheel barrel. Uh, so I had to get that replaced, but that was under warranty. So that cost nothing. Um, after that, uh, I got an oil change at uh, 13,193 miles. That was $71.88. Um, the next one was at seven, next oil and filter change was at 17,109 miles. That was $73.09. Um, after that, I did the air filter replacement. This is when I had the stock air box. Um, that was uh, $18.84. I think I got it on Amazon. Uh, that was at 17,443 miles. And I also did the cabin filter replacement. Amazon again, that was $15.70. So that's something easy that anybody can do. It's, it's in the glove box or you, know, you take the glove box off and it's right there. I definitely recommend doing that as often as possible. It's pretty gross how, uh, how dirty that thing gets. I would definitely suggest it. it's only 15 bucks. Anybody could do that. Um, so just look it up on Amazon. You can, you can grab it. Um, after that was another oil change. Uh, that was $59 and 66 cents. I think I had a coupon for that one. That was done at 20,587 miles. Next oil change was at, um, it was actually this past weekend, which was $63.90. That was at 26,930 miles. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight oil changes uh, in my three years of ownership. Uh, so again, like I said, I'm doing them, I was doing them every like 4,000, then I bumped it down to every 3,000 to 3,500 miles. Um, so it's getting more, uh, I guess occurring or more it's happening more because I'm doing it with less miles. So, you know, it's obviously going to cost a little bit more, but the grand total for that in three years was $519 and 67 cents. So in three years, maintenance wise, this car only cost me 519 bucks. 
which is pr pretty cheap. Um, uh, I, for the 30,000, the next uh, maintenance service that I plan on doing, uh, I guess is the 30,000 mile uh, you know, service that they do. I'm not gonna get everything done because some of it's kind of silly. It's like checking things and checking the air pressure in the tires, like I don't need that. Um, but I do, one of the main things I do wanna get done uh, are the spark plugs. I'm not sure if I'm gonna let the dealer do that, do that myself, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's more just more of a nuisance to do that because of where they're located on the side of uh, the block. But um, I'll, I'll see, I, you know, I don't know what they charge. It's probably more than I wanna pay, but um, Again, it's gonna come down to timing, the time that I have and just the convenience factor. So I'll see when the time comes, but um, that's, I guess, the next major thing, which is not really major uh, uh, maintenance item that I plan on doing. But otherwise, it's just gonna be oil changes, um, you know, cleaning the, I have a Cobb SF intake now, so it's, uh, I'm just gonna be reusing that current filter. Uh, once it gets dirty, I'm just gonna re recharge it and clean it out and everything, so. That's not gonna cost me anything. Cabin filter, I'll probably do at 30,000 miles. Again, that's 15 bucks, that's not a big deal. Um, and one of the big things that they do at 30,000 miles is uh, a tranny, uh, brake and coolant, and as well as a diff flush, which I, I don't know if that's part of the 30,000, but I'm probably gonna get all that done um, just to get some fresh oil in the car or fresh, uh, fresh coolant, fresh fluids in the car, because uh, 30,000 miles, that's, that's a good time to kind of do that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'll probably get that done as well. So the next the next uh, maintenance service that I'm getting done is probably going to be a bigger one. So that make my that will make a bigger impact on how much I've spent. But again, five hundred dollars in three years on on a car maintenance wise that hasn't given me any problems uh, is pretty sweet. Um, so that kind of. I, you know, again, I think that's really helpful to anybody kind of get an idea of um, how much it costs to 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 maintain this car. Obviously, you can do it cheaper. You can use different oil, you can do it yourself, um, but this is just the way I maintain my car through the dealer with OEM uh, fluids and everything. Uh, so that's, you know, that'll give also a good idea because not everybody's mechanically inclined. Again, people are like me as well. Not everybody wants to do it or has the time to do it. So uh, they'll just go to the dealer. So that, I feel like that's more of a realistic uh, understanding of what it costs to maintain uh, an STI. Um, obviously there's probably more, you know, there's a lot of diehard Subaru people out there that probably will do other things or more, more maintenance stuff. Um, but I'm just keeping it simple. I'm doing, um, you know, my oil changes much earlier than they recommend, uh, you know, and I'm going to be doing the fluid uh, changes and everything and the spark plugs and all that stuff. So, um, but it's been reliable. I haven't had any issues at all. Uh, minus that the, um, axle, the front axle there, which was nothing. It was just a boot that was ripped that again, got replaced under warranty, uh, it was free. <laughs> um, it was more of a nuisance than anything just because I had to wait for the part to come in and you know, bring it to the dealer and everything. And they actually, they, they did it pretty quickly. So um, it, wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal, but that's what it cost, 519 bucks in my three years of ownership for this STI. I have 27,000 miles on it um, and it's treated me very well. So. I hope that helped anybody kind of trying to get an idea of what these things cost to maintain. Um, and if you guys have any questions, just ask them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I try my best to answer everybody, uh, anybody with actually intelligent questions um, or you know, just curious questions about the car. Um, so I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I appreciate you guys checking out my channel. Um, if you haven't, be sure to like, uh, it really helps me, uh, kind of gets my, my videos out there to more people and, and recommends them. Um, so it definitely helps. So if you haven't, be sure to like, uh, like the video and also subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I really do appreciate the support and um, I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next video.